Mancha Kapa Dribusha, Kripas in the Bay, Vichapa Titanum, Pavanibio, Vaishnave, Bionamona Maha. Greetings, devotees from all over the world. Thank you very much for joining us. This is the global team for distributing Srila Prabhupada's books all over the world. So if you came into the wrong Zoom room, you can just stay and join and be part of it anyway. But those of you who intentionally came here, we're in for a really real treat today because we're going to be discussing how to increase book distribution, which puts us in a very good position. It means that we're working to fulfill the desire of His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, who had an insatiable desire to please his spiritual master, who asked him in numerous at numer- on numerous occasions, including at Sri Radha Kund, to increase book distribution. So <clears throat> all of us who have the fortune of coming in the wake of Srila Prabhupada's Transcendental Campaign, which is now going on strongly all over the world, and who have the benefit of taking up this service, are intimately connected with fulfilling the desire of Srila Prabhupada. What to speak of the fact that as we distribute Bhagavad Gita, we have we develop a taste and urge to hear it. Shushu Shoshadhana Sivasudeva Kataruchi, Sen Mahatsevayavipra Punya Tirta Nishavanat. The more we serve the great souls and fulfill their desires, the more by their mercy we get the desire to hear and understand what we're distributing. And we also get a front row seat. <clears throat> in Lord Chaitanya's movement. And because of our proximity to those who are receiving this knowledge for the first time, we see again and again the potency of the knowledge that we're distributing. And this is vital for our movement and for us as individuals as we test our mantras and see actually they work. The best of our campaign is that it attracts the great souls who have come here, obviously, as Krishna's arrangement to help Srila Prabhupada expand his campaign. And today we have the distinct pleasure, honor of <clears throat> hearing from His Holiness Giriraj Swami, who has who is an international treasure and also one of the pillars of the Sankirtan movement. Anytime we ask Maharaj to come on anything that's related to preaching, book, especially book distribution, it doesn't matter what part of the world he's in, he always agrees immediately. And we're deeply grateful for that, Maharaj. So uh, this morning, Giriraj Maharaj will be um, speaking to us about the campaign that we're embarked in to get, we've embarked upon together. And then we'll have a review of our campaign, and we have a few other speakers from around the world to give us updates about how things are going on various continents. Dear Maharaj, uh, we invite you to um, please address the assembly today, and we thank you very much for your your time. Hare Krishna. Hi. Thank you for inviting me to this wonderful gathering for the uh, sublime purpose of increasing the distribution of Srila Prabhupada's books. Um, Srila Prabhupada was so pleased when he heard the results of uh, book distribution in what subsequently became the December Marathon or the Prabhupada Marathon. Uh, I was with him in Juhu when the first results came from Rameshwar Prabhu in Los Angeles. And Srila Prabhupada was uh, beside himself with transcendental happiness. Uh, My own experience with book distribution goes back to when I first joined the Boston Temple. In fact, I took up 
um, selling books to bookstores. And when Srila Prabhupada got the report, uh, he was very pleased. And um, he wrote, and it was the, the first letter from him in which he expressed his pleasure with a particular service that I had done. Um, in December 1971, he wrote me, go on increasing books and go on increasing my pleasure. So the December Marathon is a special opportunity for us to focus on Srila Prabhupada's desire that we distribute books and thus increase his pleasure. As he wrote me in the same letter, I am most pleased especially to hear that you are distributing many books. Um, and Srila Prabhupada would uh, tell us about his spiritual master's um, instruction to him to distribute books. Uh, Srila Bhaktisiddhanta said, when we were living in a rented house, if we could collect 200 or 300 rupees, we were living very nicely at Ultadanga. We were happier then. But since we have been given this marble palace in Bag Bazaar, there is friction between our men. Who will occupy this room? Who will occupy that room? Who will be the proprietor of this room? Everyone is planning in different ways. It would be better to take the marble from the walls and secure money. If I could do this and print books, that would be better. And Srila Prabhupada commented that he was lamenting that these men were simply after the stones and bricks of the buildings. He condemned. He was very, very sorry. And then, as uh, Vaisheshik Prabhu mentioned at Radha Kund, uh, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta directly instructed uh, Srila Prabhupada, Amar Itcha Chila Kichu Bhai Karana. I had a desire to print some books. If you ever get money, print books. And Srila Prabhupada took this instruction to heart. In Juhu, when we had difficulty getting permission uh, to, to build, uh, Srila Prabhupada said that um, we should just carry on with the preaching and not worry about the land. If necessary, he said, we can simply turn make Hare Krishna land into a bus stop. We can have many buses for distributing our literatures and those buses can go traveling and distributing books and they can come back to Hare Krishna land, <laughs> the bus stop, <laughs> and the devotees can spend a few days and become rejuvenated and get more books and then go out again. Um, and when we were uh, really, uh, you could say, entangled with um, all the difficulties for getting uh, the land, and Srila Prabhupada invited, uh, I don't know if invited is the right word, but he, whatever, called uh, Bhagavan Das, who was the GBC for France, to uh, to Bombay, and uh, Brahmananda Prabhu, as Prabhupada's secretary, wrote him, 
I understand that you will be coming in about a week's time. Srila Prabhupada confirmed my suggestion that you go straight to Bombay. In this connection, Srila Prabhupada said, quote, so far as I have studied, there is a clique of some enemies to acquire the land and spoil the whole scheme. So we have to save ourselves. Even if there's no sanction to build further buildings, we should maintain what we have got. We should not let anyone infringe on our rights. The book distribution program must be thoroughly organized. And um, so every morning, uh, just before six, I would walk up the stairs to Srila Prabhupada's room uh, to accompany him on his morning walk. But when another devotee and I went on the day after Rama Akadasi, we were fined we were surprised to find that the doors, both to his quarters on one side and to his staff's quarters on the other side, were locked. I wasn't sure what to do, but I gently locked, uh, knocked on both doors. After a minute or two, Prabhupada's secretary, Harikesh, opened the assistant's door just a little and said that Prabhupada had stayed up all night and completed his translation of Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita. And that at the end, he had written the most beautiful glorification of his Guru Maharaj, that he was in an ecstatic mood and had said that we should celebrate by having a feast. And the... In a way, well, th there's a lot in Srila Prabhupada's concluding words, but he definitely uh, speaks about his service in general of uh, translating and uh, publishing books. And in his con concluding words, he wrote, his divine grace, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur, was very fond of seeing many books published to spread the Krishna consciousness movement. Therefore, our society, the International Society for Krishna Consciousness, has been formed to execute the order of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and his divine grace, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur. On this occasion, therefore, I request my disciples who are determined to help me in this work to continue their cooperation fully so that philosophers, scholars, religionists, and people in general all over the world will benefit by reading our transcendental literatures such as Srimad Bhagavatam and Sri Chaitanya Cherry Tamrita. So, um, yeah, I, I, I always think of Srila Prabhupada's um, letter to me, go on increasing books and go on increasing my pleasure. I'm, a, I'm most pleased, especially to hear that you are um, distributing many books. And I'll, I will um, I'll quote a little from a conversation with Srila Prabhupada that is uh, recorded in my book, I'll Build You a Temple, The Juhu Story. Um, so for some time, Prabhupada Vishnu Prabhu was the vice president in Juhu. And, uh, but at, uh, he, he really wanted to do book distribution. And Prabhupada asked him, 
what do you like better, temple management or book distribution? And he said, book distribution. And Prabhupada said, all right, manage the temple for some time, and then you can go on book distribution. I'll show you how to put the books in colleges and libraries throughout the country. Uh, and after some time, the library party did begin, and Prabhu Vishnu Prabhu got the chance to go. And then uh, Gopal Krishna Maharaj recalled, Rameshwar was a very strong motivator of book distribution. He was one of our best Sankirtan generals. He started writing Sankirtan letters to devotees all over the movement, how Prabhupada wanted the Bombay temple built, but that it could be built only if we increased book distribution. Because unless we increased book distribution, we couldn't send the required money to Bombay. So the whole world went on a marathon to increase book distribution and to generate funds so Rameshwar could send money to Prabhupada in Bombay for the construction. Then later on, when um, Srila Prabhupada was in Vrindavan, uh, he wanted a, 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 a will to be created. And when, when we had finished discussing the will, Rameshwar informed Prabhupada about the developments in the distribution of his books. I just received a telegram from America about the book selling, he said. It is from our main warehouse in Los Angeles. They report that there has been increase this month over last month. For back to Godhead, the increase has been 70%. And Prabhupada responded, hmm. Then Rameshwar continued, for small books like Perfection of Yoga, it has increased 45%. For medium books like Krishna Trilogy and Ishopanishad, it has increased 45%. And for the hardbound books like Bhagavad Gita and Srimad Bhagavatam, it has doubled a 200% increase. And Srila Prabhupada responded, this is very good. Then I added, <laughs> that means tripled because a 100% increase is doubled, so 200% means tripled. And Prabhupada said, very good. And Rameshwar said, um, everyone is now wearing these double it buttons. The whole movement is simply thinking of doubling book distribution. And then Srila Prabhupada said, yes, this is our real mission. Yare Deka Tare Kaha Krishna Upadesh. Whomever you meet, uh, give him the message of Krishna. That's all. This is the opportunity of speaking the words given by Krishna. Krishna Doipayana Vyas or Krishna are the same. Now that's all right. No more talking. <laughs> um, yeah, maybe I'll just add one, one more little incident. This was from 1976, when we went with Sri the Prabhupada to a place called Warda, which is near Nagpur, in the center of India. And he said that when he sees his disciples are enthusiastic to distribute his books, his own enthusiasm increases. 
I was struck by Srila Prabhupada's statement because he seemed to have boundless enthusiasm. But he actually said, when I see my disciples enthusiastic to distribute my books, it makes me more enthusiastic. So there, there, there is no doubt that this is an activity that pleases Srila Prabhupada and enlivens him. And I'm sure that in his spiritual presence, he is pleased, uh, beaming and smiling as if he were here in his physical form uh, by our efforts to distribute his books. And everyone who plays a part in the effort also counts as part of the team. Uh, Srila Prabhupada gave the example that in the Indian railways, they have this slogan, keep the wheels turning. So he visited the administrative offices of the railways, and there was the same slogan, keep the wheels turning. So he was thinking, what is the connection? Somebody here in the office behind a desk keeping accounts? What does he have to do with keep, keeping the wheels turning? But the whole effort is meant to culminate in one point, keeping the wheels turning, keeping the trains going, moving people from one place to another. So he said that in the same way, all of our efforts are meant to keep the books going out. Um, so whatever service we have, is ultimately meant to contribute to the ultimate goal of um, distributing Srila Prabhupada's books. So <laughs> I'm so pleased uh, to, to have been invited by, by Sheshika Prabhu for this most auspicious gathering, for this most um, wonderful purpose of discussing how to increase the distribution of Srila Prabhupada's books in the sacred month of December. And uh, I, I will remain here to listen to what others have to say, and I'm also available if called upon to speak more, but I'm very, very grateful for this opportunity and uh, also for to, to all of you who are working so sincerely and intelligently uh, to distribute Srila Prabhupada's books. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Maharaj, we're deeply grateful to you for bringing us the unadulterated parampara, the mood and mission of Srila Prabhupada. You are our life and soul. And uh, we'd like to show you, Ambarishi Maharaj will speak in just a couple of minutes, but we wanted to show you the maps from around the world, what the um, continents are doing thus far. We still uh, have a, a lot of <clears throat> activity yet to go in the in the month so here we go uh, with a few with a vision of the world what it looks like right now and the campaign itself so this uh campaign at the end of the year which is stretches from just after Bhadra Purnima this year was on December excuse me September 11th, it goes all the way to January 7th. So it leaves a, a wide open space at the end of the year for various uh, aspects of the Prabhupada Marathon. And overall, it's branded as Live to Give. And the distribution of the Bhagavad Gita specifically at this time of year is, is our focus. Uh, you, as you can see from uh, 2020, 2021, we have an increase. And this is what it looked like 2021 around the world by continent. We're still waiting for numbers from Antarctica, which we're working on. 
but it was 2,800,000 approximately. <clears throat> Our goal for this year is 3 million Bhagavad Gita's globally. Of course, each goal that we set, we're looking to smash. And here it is by continent, go through it briefly. Australia's pledges, pledges means uh, each one of the centers uh, on the continent uh, says what they intend to do. Oftentimes they do more, most likely they do more, but they pledge because you, as we say here, your pledge is your wedge. It's what opens up the possibility for making something happen. And until you make a pledge, until you write it down, until you ratify it with the community, the, the wheels that you're talking about don't turn. So here's uh, Australia at 17,000. Last year, they did 18,599. Next is New Zealand. Their pledges are at 10,099. Fiji, our leading indicator uh, continent, is right now at uh, 1,030. As Fiji goes, so goes the world. They're making steady increases every year. You got a close eye on Fiji. Uh, the Far East, we've yet to receive pledges from various places like Madhva Purva Desh, right? But we can see Japan, Taiwan, Thailand, uh, pledges are at 3,000. So yes, we're waiting for other pledges to come in. Sometimes it takes a while. Of course, we're early in December still. Next, we have Africa, which the pledges are at 15,600. Please um, cast your merciful glance on this continent, Maharaj. We would like to see Africa beat India. That's our heart's felt desire. And why not? Next, we have Europe at 56,000 pledges. Uh, there's quite a bit of, act of activity over there. We have uh, lots of good reports coming in from Europe, not the least of which are from you know, great stalwarts like Trados Prabhu in in Italy. We made a that. we made a pledge, but you didn't write it down. Okay, well that's good news. Four thousand. Four thousand. Four thousand from Italy. Thank you, Trados Prabhu. And to I your sent it life. into the Vietnam, but I don't know. He's on Sankirtan. He'll he'll record it right when he gets back. Okay, for, from Europe is looking good. As we can see, there's more pledges coming in by the thousands as, ex as exemplified there. And India uh, has, seems very well organized, well-oiled machine. They've divided the continent into four parts and they've pledged very confidently 2,700,000 copies of Bhagavad Gita for this marathon. And this is what North America looks like. Pledges are still coming in. <clears throat> we're hearing from various centers, but we're at 168. Last year, we did a quarter of a million Bhagavad Gita, so we're looking to beat that number this year and calling upon all leaders in North America to make sure they do a thorough analysis of what you did last year and what your goal is this year. Without a goal, without a pledge, nothing moves. South America have, has pledges for 10,000 this year. We're looking for them to smash those pledges and go beyond what they did last year, which is a little over 10,000. That's the state of the state. And um, we'll keep you informed as things keep moving, Maharaj, uh, the numbers. We, we seek your blessings and we thank you very much for bringing us the mood and, and methods of Srila Prabhupada. It's vital to our survival. Uh, now, it's with great pleasure that I um, invite Ambarishi Maharaj to come on and tell what's happening in his area. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. I accept my humble obeisances. There are, there are stories coming from different parts of Russian-speaking area, like uh, yesterday on Gita Jayanti Day in Kiev. There is no electricity, there is no water there, and the devotee went out 
for a few hours and it's quite dangerous because uh, everyone under 50 years is recruited to the war and uh, he is like 35 years old but he still went out on the streets of Kyiv and distributed 70 Bhagavad just on the street. <laughs> he sent many photos of ecstatic people who were buying books from him. <clears throat> uh, I am right now in Kazakhstan and we had uh, two programs. Uh, one program yesterday, devotees came together and went out on the streets to distribute Bhagavad Gita. They distributed 200 Bhagavad Gita on the streets. And uh, today there was a big preaching program. 700 new people came for this program. Chaitanya Chandra Charan Prabhu was given wonderful class. And after the class, uh, people, they have bought uh, around 300 Bhagavad Gita's. Mm. And uh, in Russia, uh, yesterday devotees had a very nice online program. They organized glorification of Bhagavad Gita by different preachers. Around 50 preachers were speaking for 10-15 minutes each. And uh, uh, during these online programs, they were offering to everyone to buy a Bhagavad Gita and uh, 400 people, they have bought Bhagavad Gita online. <clears throat> so devotees are very inspired to participate. Uh, Hare Krishna. Thank you, Maharaj, for bringing us anecdotes from the field. This live feed coming in from the streets in places where one can be arrested or apprehended as uh, the kind of heroics Prabhupada mentioned in a letter he wrote when he said that the wartime is the time when heroes are made and one can attract the, the attention of Krishna. And one of the reasons that uh, it's effective to have our global team is to hear how our colleagues are doing all over the world and and the kinds of ways they're stepping up thank you for bringing us that and we're all praying for the safety of the devotees who are in these extremely dangerous areas Hare Krishna thank you very much and now uh from the perspective of uh, the USA we're going to our friendly neighbors in the north in Canada and we have the inimitable Anutama Prabhu, who's uh, diligently connecting with all the centers in Canada. I hear it from everybody up there, how he painstakingly stays in touch with every single center in Canada. And it's one of the reasons that Canada is so progressive, because where attention goes, energy flows. This is, everything's personal. And when there's a personal glance and personal attention, as Anutama Prabhu gives to all the leaders up there in regards to their book distribution, then there's a definite feeling of encouragement. Thank you very much for being here, Anutama Prabhu. Please tell us, how is Canada doing? All right, Krishna Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisance, all great Shri Prabhupada. Yeah, Canada. So in the past year and a half, I've been visiting each and every center. I think I've covered about 90% of Canada going and visiting them. And by doing so, I get to learn about the opportunities as well as challenges that exist in each and every region. And in terms of getting uh, a pledges, it's quite uh, seamless these days because since they know who I am, they're easily <laughs> able to give us our pledges on time. So I don't have to like heckle with them. <laughs> so that's very nice. So we got our uh, last year, we did 26,126 uh, Gitas. This year, we want to do 28,000, which is about 7% increase. Our pledges were a little bit lower, but I'm, I'm confident that it'll come up as uh, time goes by. The other thing I wanted to also do was to just change the culture around some of our Canadian temples, especially around, say, the World Gita Day. Uh, traditionally, it's always been about yagyas and, uh, you know, we'll have a few uh, Bhagavad Gita shlokas chanted. But this year, we wanted to do a Unite to Recite, where uh, devotees from 
the west coast of Canada to the east coast of Canada and everybody in between will uh, get around uh, the sacred chanting of the Bhagavad Gita. And by doing so, we show the importance that we're not here to just uh, uh, dis uh, read, uh, distribute the books, but also we're serious about reading the books. And as a result of that, we were able to, we were able to distribute a lot of uh, Bhagavad Gita. So we had a lot of centers, including in the English translation, so that newcomers, people from you know, who are born and raised in Canada can feel like they're they're part of that. And then in a couple of weeks, I'll have, uh, we have our Canadian leaders meeting and the first uh, topic will be book distribution. So I'll also be talking with the temple presidents to ensure that Sankirtan is not just like a department on the side, but it's like the main aspect of a temple. And this in turn will help increase uh, book distribution and have more of a sanctuary on consciousness, whether it's for the Badra campaign or for the Live to Give campaign. So all these activities have been going on and just going and meeting the devotees in person. And whether that's cold, we see the Toronto Sankirtan team outside, the Brahmacharis from Montreal, going out and distributing books at universities, lots of outreach programs happening. So that's quite enlivening. And it's good to have this one is Bhakti Mark Swami and Her Grace Vrinda Dasi, who are our uh, leaders for GBC and Zono Supervisor to support uh, Sankirtan in a big way by giving classes and glorifying the books. All right, Krishna. If I, if I may say, that was a perfect report. It just hit the right notes, everything about what you said. And thank you very much for your diligent efforts in Canada. It's so important because every mission has mission drift it's it's even in the bhagavad gita krishna says yoga nashta parantapa the message has been lost i'm re renewing it so one of the main aspects of keeping our global campaign on track is that devotees imbibe the mood that you just expressed to keeping sankirtan in the center as Prabhupada did he mentioned as the seventh purpose of iskhan we keep sankirtan in the four because by Doing Sankirtan, book distribution specifically, we would fulfill the previously mentioned six other purposes of, Is of ISKCON. Thank you so much, Anuttama Prabhu. <clears throat> and now we're swinging wildly to the other side of the world in Africa, and we have the intrepid um, <clears throat> Tirumala Devi Dasi, who's tenacious in her efforts to expand uh, Sankirtan. <clears throat> On uh, in Africa, uh, to the degree that uh, we can beat India. Please go ahead. Hi Krishna, please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Shila Prabhupada. Um, Hare Krishna Maharaj. Um, so at the moment, our goal is fifteen thousand six hundred Bhagavad Gitas, which is a seven percent increase on last year's fourteen thousand five hundred and seventy-eight. Um, so the different uh, countries within Africa have put together um, various uh, ways in which uh, devotees can participate to make it um, more, to encourage devotees. So, um, for example, in Botswana, there's different um, uh, Bhagavad Gita sponsorship packages which uh, devotees can participate through. This is being um, managed by the Shastradan program. And then um, in South Africa, um, the temples have all put together, uh, you know, different um, um, packages as well. So there's different, lots of different ways for devotees to participate. So, for example, devotees can take uh, packs of books, um, which include Bhagavad Gita's for um, a donation, and then distribute that accordingly. And then there's also the option for devotees to take books um, first on consignment and then distribute them afterwards. And then uh, there's also a, a special Shastradan program as well, whereby devotees have been given different options to uh, sponsor books um, and different uh, Bhagavad Gita packages as well. Um, so we don't have, a, um, you know, a breakdown per uh, country just as yet. Some of the within Africa have submitted um, specifics for a particular area, but again, 15,600. Um, Mauritius has uh, put in a pledge for 2,650, um, and then Zambia, 250 books. Malawi um, has submitted um, a pledge of 15. 
Um, and then South Africa, there's various pledges within South Africa, but we're working towards getting to that 7% increase on uh, South Africa's goals specifically from last year. Um, and then we're also putting together, um, arranging telethons, which worked very well last year. Um, yeah, so there's various ways in which we're trying to engage the devotees in the campaign. Tiramala, Davy, this is an excellent report. It's an example of how to manage a continent, and that is to be attentive to the various leaders and to give them attention because where attention goes, energy flows. What's more, we notice one of the reasons that Africa is so successful is there's a high degree of statistical analysis. When we're able to <clears throat> record the numbers, even the act of recording the numbers brings attention to uh, the active book distribution. But when we see numbers and we're able to understand where we're getting the results, then we're able to increase. It goes under the heading of what gets measured gets it improved. And so <clears throat> you're doing an excellent job of that in Africa and all of these areas, and it, it really shows. What to speak of the leadership there, there, there are in a resonance with Prabhupada's desires as expressed by Giriraj Swami earlier, to keep book distribution in the center. We're feeling a, a definite um, pulse of spiritual energy coming from Africa. Please go on to glory and beat India. Thank you very much. And now uh, it's a great pleasure to come back to North America where book distribution actually uh, began. Of course, it began in India with Prabhupada going out by himself with Bhakti, with his um, <clears throat> Back to Guided magazines and the first Canto of Bhagavatam. But, uh, off of the Indian continent, when Prophet first landed, he started book distribution in America, and um, most particularly in the Bay Area, it was noted for being uh, a prolific uh, center from which uh, <clears throat> Prophet's books were distributed. Great names, uh, Keshava uh, were there, and uh, um, Budimanta uh, came from San Francisco. There was also a Bhaktadas who, who ran a tight ship there as well. And now we have the next generation has come up. We have co Sankirtan leaders here <clears throat> at Iskon Silicon Valley who oversee actually book distribution in the whole Bay Area. And that includes Mali Devi Dasi and Sri Krishna Purushottam. So right now we have a live feed coming from the place where uh, tens of thousands of books, millions actually, have been uh, the the means to distribute have, have come from uh, Molly's little uh, Sankirtan Central there you can see behind her. So please tell us, give us some encouragement and vision about organization, about how things are going on the, in the field right now. Hare Krishna Prabhu, please accept my humble obeisances. Hare Krishna Prabhupada. Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. Hare Krishna Prabhupada. It is so en encouraging and enlivening to be on these calls. Um, I derived so much of inspiration just hearing from so many devotees on the call. Uh, I just wanted to give a report of what happened um, miraculously yesterday here at ISV. Um, as you know, the market is um, people are afraid of what's going to be what's going to happen next year, and but we still wanted to do our yearly fundraiser for the Gita Marathon, and uh, we played. We used all the. Um, the principles that we talked about in last call about how to do a fundraiser and we did a video and we played a video with um, small intangibles and these are the beads that we got back uh, from Vrindavan as a gift for everybody who sponsors uh, a level one uh, we, we priced it at uh, only 50, only five hundred dollars and we are pleased to report uh, that we raised over two hundred thousand dollars in just in just less than an hour um, and we were we were surprised uh, because we thought oh i don't know how it's going to be our goal was 150000 but um, by krishna's mercy uh, by prophet's mercy we got 200000 dollars and and devotees were crazy for these beads um, because they were intangibles um, they usually they wanted to sponsor for a level 2 which is a thousand dollars, but instead devotees were saying, "I want two level ones, which is five hundred each, so that they can get two beads of this one." So it was really, really nice um, to see all the devotees uh, so fired up to to support this marathon. 
And then uh, after we got that uh, sponsorship of $200,000, now we wanted to go and distribute all of them. And it was pouring down yesterday in Bay Area. We need the rain because uh, California is has a drought, so we re we need the rain. And it was amazing uh, because all the we went store to store because we couldn't set up table outside. Um, it's um, there's no place. It's all it's all wet. So we went store to store, and the stores were the busiest because people cannot do anything else outside. They're just going to stores, restaurants, and things like that. And and and. We personally distributed uh, my team, uh, which had three, four devotees. We distributed 20 cases of uh, Bhagavad Gita and uh, 13 cases of science of self-realization going store to store. And I just wanted to um, share one story. We went to a wine tasting room. Um, we didn't know what it was initially. It just seems like a store. So we went inside and it turned out to be a wine tasting room. And we told them how we are this is a season of giving. We wanted to give Bhagavad Gita to everybody. Would you as a store owner take some of these books and distribute to your customers and give us some donation? And uh, initially she said, I don't want to display anything in my wine tasting room. I like to keep it uh, very clean, no, no other material. But she said, I can put it under my table and I can distribute them. I said, we have no problem as long as you distribute. And then when we, she heard our cause, she was so, she was so happy. She gave us two wine bottles as donation, <laughs> and we told <laughs> we told her that oh we can't take uh, we don't take alcohol so we cannot take this as a donation. And then she said that um, she has these candles. Each candle is forty dollars. Uh, really nice candles. Um, I'm sorry, I don't have it now to show it to you, but uh, she gave those two candles as a donation. And then she was uh, then we just started started talking about Srimad Bhagavatam, and she said. I love to read and this is really interesting and she took the entire set of Srimad Bhagavatam also and she and she gave a donation. So this was a similar feeling that we went to every store. Uh, people were so happy and uh, one more story is that we went to an ice cream shop and that ice cream shop um, as you know it's winter and it's raining not many people were coming to the ice cream shop and we told the same to the ice cream shop owner and we told them these books actually are on yoga meditation they help relieve stress and anxiety. That store owner asked, does it tell me how to sell ice creams in winter? <laughs> and then we told him that it doesn't tell you that, but it tells you that if you don't sell ice creams in winter, how you can be equipoised, it will tell you that. And he was very happy and he took a case of books. So in general, it was like that. People were in the mood of receiving and, and the mood of giving to other people as well. So I think we should encourage um, everybody to, go and give out books in the season, especially uh, this is the marathon time. Everybody is in the mood of holidays they want to give. And we felt so grateful because, because of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Srila Prabhupada, we have these greatest gifts that we can pass it down to other people because not many people are fortunate to have this opportunity. So we were also grateful. Thank you so much uh, for allowing me to speak. Thank you, Prabhu. Thank you, Krishna. Now we have uh, Sri Krishna Purushottam, who's the co-sankirtan leader at ISV. Please tell us your realizations. Thank you so much, Malini. <clears throat> yeah, yesterday was very, uh, I would say it's like Gita Jayanti and Ekadashi. It's so um, blessed to go with the Sankirtan with all the devotees. And Vaisheshka Prabhu always says on the special days, we have the special potency. And when even though it, <clears throat> even though it's raining heavily, we just went out and uh, I, I personally went to like a gas stations, like it's uh, raining. So, so many people are stopping at the gas station. So we just uh, gave case by case to one uh, people. And even the gas station owner is a, a Sardarji from Punjab. So he took a full entire case of uh, 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 and then I met a few, he was from Calcutta. He said, you know, you are following uh, our philosophy, I said, yes, of course, <laughs> where our Prabhupada is there, that is uh, uh, our philosophy. Anyway, I just want to tell one story that uh, which inspired, uh, like, uh, the one of the rules of book distribution is we, sh we should not never judge. So three weeks ago, I went to a house or an apartment complex there. I met a couple on the, on the street and uh, I was talking to them. They, 
uh, I told about Srimad Bhagavatam to the wife and husband. Um, hus- wife is so interested. I said, uh, she said, can you give me your email address? I'll contact you. Normally, when they say that, that means they never contact me. And I was telling all my fr- uh, devotee friends who are with me, Prima Madhuri Mataji and Beauty devotees, that, you know, uh, I think they just want to escape. So that's why they ask my email address. Normally, they ask phone number. But anyway, I received an email <clears throat> and saying that, uh, uh, so there was a corporate match. I want to donate $500 for uh, your cause. And please drop Srimad Bhagavatam. And sorry for getting back too late. And I was thinking, you know, that the principle Vaishashi Kaprabha told, never judge people. We never know this impact of uh, uh, sowing a seed in their heart about uh, Bhagavad Gita or Srimad Bhagavatam. So, and we have a fundraising today. We we request all the prayers from Giriraj Maharaj and uh, all the assembled devotees to reach our goal for 66,000 uh, Bhagavad Gita. Hare Krishna. Thank you very much, Sri Krishna Purushottam Prabhu, who's... Initials are SKP. Uh, an important lesson to take from this, both mentioned that it's raining here. We do better when it's raining. We did better during COVID than ever before in the world. And we can remember Queen Kunti, who said, when there are obstacles, I do better in my consciousness. So obstacles are our friends because they're, they're there for us to test our resolve. When our resolve is unmoving, when we decide that we will rain or shine, whatever situation there is in the world, devotees are going out on the street, as Ambarishi Maharaj said, during wartime, during times when there's danger, and they go forth to distribute Srila Prabhupada's books, that's when we make quantum leaps of advancement. So thank you for these lessons. Also, never judge people because if you present to everybody, as Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu suggested, not considering who's a fit or unfit candidate, we discover for ourselves that everyone's a spirit soul. They're hankering to see Krishna. And that can spontaneously come out at any moment. This is a spontaneous movement in the height of this spontaneous act of practicing devotional service comes out in preaching. And it's the way to come to the spontaneous level of devotional service is to follow the Panchatattva. Thank you very much, everybody. And now um, we have a couple of more minutes. I'd like to circle back to His Holiness, Giri Raj Swami. If you have any observations, any uh, summation you'd like to give us from seeing the maps or hearing what any of the devotees uh, had to say. Well, the whole experience has been very inspiring. Uh, The devotees who are going out and distributing books and the devotees who are um, collecting donations to support the book distribution. And I'm really touched and and moved uh, by the devotees' uh, dedication and service. And I'm uh, reminded of a, a, a of a small incident that took place when we were in Gorakhpur with Srila Prabhupada on the occasion of his Guru Maharaja's appearance day. And uh, Srila Prabhupada, I mean, we did we did have a program at midday, but Srila Prabhupada wanted us to invite. The, the local people, uh, many of whom were associated with the Gita Press uh, for a program in the evening because they could attend in, in, in the evening. And then after the program, there was a feast and we were all taking prasad uh, downstairs, outdoors, uh, on a, a, a sort of veranda. And then Srila Prabhupada's servant, Nanda Kumar Das, came down and he, he reported that Srila Prabhupada had said two things. One, that the feast was so good he could not control his senses. And two, 
that my Guru Maharaj is very pleased with all of you. And that was the point I wanted to uh, make here. Now, I, th I think that our Guru Maharaj, Sri the Prabhupada, is very pleased with all of you. And his Guru Maharaj, Sri Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur, is very pleased with all of you. And when they're pleased, automatically we're also pleased. Gaur Premanande Harivo. Thank you so much, Maharaj, for making an appearance here today. Our last uh, announcement is that we've arranged for a Gita Mahayagya on December 25th. We'd also like to please Lord Jesus. So we'll do it on that day, uh, December 25th. And we're arranging it in uh, uh, some city in a holy place in India. It has to do with logistics, where it's going to be. But you can assure people uh, that their names will be offered. If you're doing a local yagya and you want to collect the names, we will be offering those names at the yagya for people for whom that is um, an inspiration. So we can use that tool as a Gita Maha Yagya. This is uh, not just that we have one day that's Gita Jayanti, but actually it's better to frame it as uh, a Gita, J Gita Jayanti month. And why not the whole month? It's it's the designations are there just to help us distribute more books. So expand it outwardly and give people the opportunity to come into the Yagya itself. Now, um, there are many um, success stories all over the world, and they will increase as we just go out and depend on Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. The, 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 the way to encourage devotees in any community is to remind everyone that we're only instruments. And Prabhupada said, if you're just sincere and you try, and he pointed to his heart like this, then the master within your heart will show you how to do it. It all starts with a pledge and ratifying the pledge because you can't hit a target that you can't see. But once you give that gift to your community that they have an obvious goal to reach, then everyone will mobilize and the entire community will rise. And as we do so individually, so will the global climate in ISKCON rise to the transcendental level. At this book distribution, is the tip of the spear of the Sankirtan movement. And so we can all give our hearts and souls to this campaign. It's an unassailable service, and it is uh, the most important work that's going on on the planet today. There are plenty of corporations spending billions of dollars to invent uh, new stripes and toothpaste, as my godbrother Ruchi Das used to say, and uh, coming up with faster technology, but for what? For what purpose? What end? It, it's all mentioned in the Bhagavad Gita, the goal of life, how to achieve it. And so it's it's up to us. We're it. We're in the middle of the Sankirtan movement right now. We're not waiting for it to start. We're in it. So feel free to give your heart and soul and pass on the same energy to everybody in the community for the benefit of the world. Dear Srila Prabhupada, dear Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Shishi Panchatapha, Shishi Gornitai, Shishi Radha Madan Mohan, Shishi Radha Govinda, Shishi Radha Gopinath, Shishi Lakshmina Shingadev, if you so desire. Please empower our global team to rise in a spirit of cooperation, to inundate the entire world with the Srimad Bhagavad Gita and all of Srila Prabhupada's books using all the intelligence given to us by Krishna from within the heart and passed on to us by his exalted devotees. Thank you for, very much for considering our request. Om Tat Sat. Everyone who agrees with this prayer in whole or in part, Amen. please unmute and say Hare Krishna. 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 Hadi do big, everyone do big. Smash yeah. your goals. Hadi bo. Hadi bo. Hadi hadi. Hadi bo. Hadi bo.